clicked on here. <clears throat> okay. I um, got my easy to boot SD card and the USB adapter in there and my uh, USB stick helper to boot and install Windows 7 on this AS Rock system. Oh, but guess what it saw? It saw Sardu. It's okay, let's try. Wait. Tools. I can't remember what tools are in here, but let's see. I put it in there with the. Um, it's probably what's going to happen every time, though. Um, I put it in there with the. Um, I don't know if that makes a difference, but the SD card's in the bottom slot and the USB sticks in the top slot. That'll just be for my, my memory here. Super Grub Disk. I was thinking, oh, blo yeah, Plot Boot Manager. That should be the quickest way to try to, uh, that's what I was thinking was in there. Okay, USB. Now let's see if it'll see both of them and give me a no. It went back to that, it just booted to that. It's stuck though, now it won't do anything. Okay. <coughs> so I'm going to shut it down. Take that one out. Actually, I'm going to put this one on top. Just, okay, I'm going to... I guess I'm not showing what I'm doing. I was trying to without looking at my screen. I swapped them. Let's see if that'll make it... Of course, I don't know. It, since I hard shut it down, it probably didn't see the uh, <coughs> other one. Only way I'm really going to know that for sure is take that USB stick out. Since I've already done it, I'm not going to interrupt it right now. I got me a cough drop. It's probably making me talk funny. Well, it just went back to Sardu. Um, I wanted to plop again and see if I missed anything. I could try Super Grub this too. I'll do that since Plop didn't do it. That can let you boot into what you want. You just have to take more clicks. I've done this enough times to know I can just hit next, next, next. Oh wait. Yeah, but if you'd read it, you'd see something's broken. But I'm gonna hard shut it down. Take that out. <coughs> boot up just to that. First, I'll probably have to get it to be recognized. So it didn't matter which slot it was in. Well, probably. The thing is, I don't think it would have recognized it anyway because I had to hard shut it down. So, but if it'll, it'll probably try to boot to the hard disk with Windows on it. That's what it did the last time. And then I can, um, once you get it paused with BIOS up and BIOS, with it up and running, BIOS up and running like that, take it out of there. Actually, at one time I had two things in there, so I was able. To, I had that hard disk on the adapter in there. I was able to um, control Alt D Delete. <coughs> um, I was able to just take it out and put it back in the same one, and it still recognized it. Now what I'll do is kind of the same thing. Once it gets up here to the Easy to Boot menu, I'll get it paused. And then I will, um, uh, didn't have that phone in my hand very good. Uh, I've been making too many videos today. My hand's just shaking. I can't hold it still. Now it's hung up. F2 or delete to go to BIOS. I don't think it'll even do that. All that fiddling around with it. <coughs> okay. Do you, oh wait. It did something. Oh, I've never seen that before. He's cussing at me in Chinese or something. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's not Chinese either, is it? What is that? I'm getting closer. I don't know, getting too close may be worse. It just looks like a smudge bunch of letters, doesn't it? Anyway, it's, um... It's not Chinese. 
Some of it looks like music symbols. Some of it looks to me like Russian. This is made in Indonesia or somewhere. AS Rock Motherboard. I wonder if that's like their handwriting or their typing. I've never seen that before on anything ever. I um hard to shut it down. I don't even know where my hand is anymore. I think my cables are getting in the way. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh there we go. They weren't in the way, but that's what I was taking a video of. I just didn't even done all that, huh? So I just shot the video. I told myself I was going to stop it uh, every time something messed up so I wouldn't waste space on the drive. I'm down to 7.1 gigabyte right now. I can see how much space is left in the window here. Not too bad today since I started with 10. Okay. Now I'll have to do that same thing again. No matter what, if I don't stop the video, then it's kind of silly to try to keep it on the screen because I can't, can't see what I'm doing. Can't do it when I'm getting down there that far. So anyway, if, if you wondered what I was talking about when I, that's what I, how, what I have to do to get it to recognize my my SD card and the USB adapter. The regular USB sticks don't. Uh, aren't, it's not as finicky about them. There, easy to boot. Okay. Well, don't make, don't, don't shut this thing down too many times in a row. It pisses it off. Okay. Now, we're under Windows install. Right there. I'll just leave it right there while I put my trusty. Um, I call it Sardu because that's what's got on there, but. Uh, Put it in there. And it lights up. <coughs> Forgot the brand. Anyway, one with the U3 system on it. Not U2. U3. Okay. So get into Windows 7 boot ISOs. Professional. Professional. Home premium. Where's the other one? It's Home Premium X86 and it's gone. It just doesn't show up. One, two, three, four, and it should be five. She's playing X86. I want the X64, but I want the home premium. Back to Windows install menu. Think it had anything to do with what I'm doing or the problem I had earlier? It's not going back there. I wonder if I'm getting read errors in here. <coughs> Now it's locked up. Hmm. I wonder if I did. I wonder if that uh, menu list file would have would have needed it. I, I deleted. Uh, um, it told it didn't mention that menu list file and what you should copy over to the helper USB. But um, so I took I put it on there originally, and then I realized that wasn't part of the list, so I took it off. Oh, 
put this down in this other slot because it'll just seem to. Well, why would I like it better? I can get to it and see it. Okay, let's try it. Probably end up having to. Since the hard shut down, I'll be stuck again. But I don't get why I wouldn't see my. I'll try it without the helper first and see if it's in there. <coughs> I mean, you see, everything was fine except for the one I actually want to use. It's not showing up. Yep. Okay. Down here and put you in a different slot. <coughs> That's why well, I don't usually show all that. But, uh,. Some reason I just am right now. I guess I'll try it again the uh, right way, normal way, or whatever. Yeah, I'll try it with that helper because I know it's not supposed to work without it. I'll leave it right there. Well, no, it's gone. I don't know if it has a countdown. I don't think it does because I don't. I think you have to set one up there by doing that. I was thinking there was something in here about rescanning all the ISOs in here. Rebuild main menu, yeah. Let's go in there and see if they're there. Where is it? Windows install. Let's see if it's in there before I do anything else. It still says for present, so it's not there. There's not a rebuild any menu. Okay, let's try that rebuild main menu. See what it says is run if the contents have changed. Builds builds the main menu and refreshes the flash load cache. Alright, well let's see if that will straighten that out. Ah. No, we did not. I wonder if, what in the world? I wonder if me trying to run it earlier caused some sort of problem. Maybe it made it non contiguous or something. Back to main menu. Yeah, normally, you know, if you're using a CD or DVD, it takes a couple hours to install Windows or if. If you're installing Fedora, 30 minutes, 40 minutes to an hour. I spent a whole day fooling around with this. So it doesn't seem like... I thought once I got all this set up, it'd be cool because I can just pop it in different machines with all what I need ready to go and do it. But uh, well, getting it set up is turning into a nightmare, really. Okay, so... Um, I'm always hard-headed. I want to quit. Once I'm into a problem, I want to fix it, you know. Okay, so... Four. That means the only thing I can see to do is to... Go back to, um... Go back and see if the file looks okay, and then run that. Make contiguous in, in my XP. Yep. Okay. Could go in here and see if anything else looks like it's not showing up. That looks okay. Let's see about my Linux ISOs. I would guess that something went wrong. Yeah. Actually, I'll just go power off. Something went wrong to ha happen to make that ISO not show up the last time I tried to run it, but didn't have the helper app. So I can figure. All right. This is done. Bye.